both of these side rails had been broken and scabbed in and just not worth saving. So I made up some cardboard templates, called on uh, one of my woodworking friends. He had a, a perfect block of hickory that we made uh, some uh, rough outs. I've got them sanded and uh, ready for veneer. Along with making cardboard templates to uh, lay out the profile on these side rails, I've also laid out templates for the layout on the veneer facing. I like this curly grain here. Most of this panel on the front is going to be covered with our burled olive ash. So I'm going to start by laying it out and working with this grain line across here. For my center decoration, I've got some burled olive ash that uh, I'm going to book, book match these pieces. There'll be a small seam down the center, but this is a beautiful piece of wood. I'm going to rough it out here and trim some of the excess. I squared up the two pieces of burl and some blocks of walnut and uh, sanded them down to where there's a nice flush surface and they'll made up together. Need to uh, tape them in place. Instead of a true book match, I decided that I really like this uh, grain lined up in an opposing fashion. It's got a nice swirl in here. So on the front side, I'm going to start by lining these up. I'll put some masking tape on there to hold them. Then on the back side, um, to reinforce this as we're working with it, I put a, a paper veneer tape down. It keeps things from chipping out and uh, holds it together. This tape is basically a hide glue base that uh, dissolves with water. I use this a lot of times on holding seams together. In this case I'm holding a seam and we're going to reinforce the wood. Okay. Alright, that came out pretty good. I'm using animal hide glutes has to be melted down in a hot pot and make it a little bit runnier than normal when I'm doing veneer work. I have to work quickly with it because it is, you work with it hot. Okay, I'll line these up. This is my top here. Use this roller here and work with it a little bit. It sets up pretty quickly. Okay, I'm going to put a piece of tape on that end there, the end, hold it down, and maybe one through the center here. I've got my iron temperature set very low. I'm going to go over here little sections at a time and reheat this glue a little bit. Doesn't hurt to rub it in really good with the roller. And then I'm going to clamp it down with a piece of masking tape. And just keep working along down the end. I've left the glue hard now and uh, giving it a few hours to cure. I'm going to 
peel the tape away and check these veneer edges and do a little light sanding. I'll start sanding by breaking down these edges on the veneer. I have to be careful so they don't splinter. I'm using some 150 grit paper and working back against the frame rail there. Need to cut these ends back a little bit so they don't chip away. With a hardwood block and some 120 grit paper, I'll work with it and even out this surface. Um, take the dull areas out and, and just kind of work it down to where it's all smooth. I've left the rails overnight to make sure that the glue gets really good and cured out hard. I need to run these through the router and cut in uh, a tack line here. I'm going to use some masking tape on it and uh, try to reduce any splintering and chipping from the, the router bit. I'm going to use some 220 paper and just lightly dress this fresh cut here and we'll be able to uh, glue down our applique. I've wrapped a piece of cardboard uh, with some uh, packaging tape and I use this to clamp this down with. The packaging tape won't let any glue squeeze out here. Clamp this down and leave it for a couple hours or so. Where the masking tape adhesive has been pressed into the wood by the uh, clamp, I'm using some naphtha and scrubbing with it and it uh, takes away that residue. Polished down this um, burled ash, and uh, very tempted to see what a teaser of uh, naphtha will do. Beautiful, beautiful. I couldn't be more pleased with the way this veneer facing has come out. The the seam is uh, flawless. The pattern flows really nice. Um, overall, I'm happy to have these done.